Hey Virgos, I'm back y'all with another video. Let's look into November. Thank you, ancestors, angels, and spirit guides. Give me a message for the Virgo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, north, south, node, Jupiter. Wherever your placement is, wherever you got Virgo in your placement. You can utilize this video. Give me a message for the Virgo. Guys, be sure to check out the website. It is www.empressempireoils.com. All right, so one more shuffle, guys, and we'll get into it. One more shuffle. Give me a message for Virgo for November. All right, so we got the King of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, Two of Pentacles. All right, so. Yeah, it looks like somebody's, there could be disagreements going on, a competition or like just disagreements. And if somebody just um, wants to win an argument. That's what it's looking like to me. Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands. And the five of wands. You could be feeling like this person isn't showing you any love. Like they aren't. They're only focused on themselves because we got the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Like they're focused on themselves. Um, and I feel like some of y'all are done just holding on to something that you feel like is just overwhelming. And it's, it's time to drop it. Okay. You feel like this person moves too slow. But I do see, like, offers coming in. But it may take them a long time to get this offer to you. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Six of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. The Fool. Four of Swords. Three of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Nine of Wands. Eight of Cups. Two of Wands and the Hierophant. The Hierophant has been outcome for the last reading as well. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, I want to say, tell me why the Fool is here. Ooh, oh, I really dislike when this happens. When... The cards fall on the on the ground, so I'm not gonna take that one. That's the fool here. Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Sheesh! All right, so there's a starting. There's somebody starts an argument. Somebody start an argument and then like trying to get over it. Like somebody. But hey, it's super duper irrational, gets mad, and then like get over it. Try to change the subject. I'm getting changing the subject. Start an argument and then change the subject. So you're getting tired of this person doing that. Okay. Why is the four of swords here? So you're guarded. Because this person starts arguments with you so they can leave. Because their energy is the eight of cups. Three of Cups and the Tower and the Page of Pentacles. So we got the Tower and the Page of Cups. So they start arguments with you so they can leave and then they'll call you out the blue. That's exactly what it's looking like. Why is the Three of Cups here? Then they try to change the subject. Eight of Wands. Yeah. You're tired of this person talking to their friends about your relationship. You're kind of uncertain whether or not if you made the right choice about about this person because now it looks like you're having regrets. Um, you wanted to try something new with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, but it's not going how you feel like it should go with the Five of Pentacles. You feel rejected or left out or you feel like you're missing out. You you want to be more patient. You want to have more patience. You want this, this situation to grow. Um... But there is some type of a decision. Like, it's like you want this person to make a final decision. Okay.
Now, I see you waiting patiently on this person in the past. You waiting to see how this person is going to fix this, okay? Tell me about the temperance. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah. You wait and see how this person is going to face the situation because we got the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords and the temperance. So that's kind of like calming down. This could be somebody who smokes a lot or drinks a lot. Um, that's how they cope and deal with they, they, their issues. But you've been waiting to see how this person is going to try to face the situation because they started an argument with you and then left. Okay. So for some of you, this person could be older than you or... This is the emperor. He's like the father figure. He's like the boss. So this could be work related for some. Some of you are dealing with the boss who likes to start stuff with you and then try to change the subject like ain't nothing happened. But this is somebody who's super duper, uh, very controlling. Okay. With the seven of wands and the, the emperor, somebody decided to stand their ground. That's what it looked like. Maybe you want this person to be a stand up person, but you ended up having to make the final decision on how something was going to go. But you waited to see what this person was going to do. Why is the six of cups here in the future energy? You waiting for this person to return. Okay. So you waiting for this person to come back around. Because it looks like they do this all the time. Two of Pentacles. Just like I say. They do this all, all the time. Like this is an ongoing thing. You get the courage to speak your truth to this person on how things are going. You you tell this person how you're disappointed. Okay, but you're, this person is super duper selfish. Four of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. This person is super duper, super duper self-centered. Okay. Um, they think about themselves only. Now, your guard is a... You're very aware of this person's games, okay? Judgment. You're judging this person. You just feel like this person doesn't show you any type of sympathy or care towards the situation. Why is judgment here? The king of wands. Um, you feel like the passion could be... You may feel like there isn't any passion with the two of swords and the two of cups. You're not sure how this person really feels with the king of wands there. The lovers, this could be a Gemini. And I feel like you could be, you're looking at the situation, looking at it like spoiled milk. I feel like you're putting in the effort. You did want to do something new, try something new with this person, but it just feels like, why is the King of Wands in? The Three of Pentacles and the Death card. You're feeling like if things aren't working. Maybe you feel like that's third party energy with the Three of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. I'm seeing someone offering somebody something, but it's just taking them a while to come with the offer. Ooh, we got the double one, the seven of swords, and the eight of swords. You feel like this person is being deceptive anyway. You feel like this person being deceptive. Now, this person's energy is the eight of cups. They're, they're walking away, starting an argument, and then leave. And then come back and forth. Knight of Wands. They're doing this because they know they can come back. High Priestess and a Knight of Wands. This is exactly why they're leaving and coming back. Because they know they can come back. This person is trying to make you regret something. With the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups here. This person knows how you feel about them. The Lovers and the Two of Cups. They're saying like they wish that they would have waited and they have the confidence to be honest with you about how things are progressing and moving forward. Um, but they kind of want to keep to themselves. They're being really private about something. They're they're very like um, not in a good headspace either because their energy is the four of cups. But they're, um, they're being selfish. They're being super selfish and they're thinking about themselves. And I feel like they're in that mode because there's something that they're holding back. Um... There's a truth that they're holding back, something that they want to say. Maybe they feel like they can't say it. But they, they do that because they know they can come back and forth. Now, the two of wands is here in the hopes and fears. So you're looking at the future. And you have you have hope for the future. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you definitely are feeling like really, really burned out. 
you feeling burnt out because you want to have some fun i see you wanting to have some fun you wanting to spice things up in this connection I see you wanting to spice things up. So you're wanting to spice things up in this connection because you feel like the chemistry and things just really isn't there. Like the fire, the passion just isn't there. Now, as the outcome, we got the hierophant. You could be married to this person. But you feel like this... I'm getting like no responsibility. Like this person does not want to take responsibility. That's how you're feeling. Like this person doesn't want to take responsibility or somebody is saying it's not their responsibility. Why is the two of swords here? This person, somebody is saying they don't want the responsibility. The Hierophant is here. It could be dealing with the Taurus. This is also could be a marriage as well, too. Because somebody here is just disappointed. You could be saying, like, you know what? I don't even want to be in this situation no more. Um, it's a disappointment. You, are you stuck in your head about this? Um, you know the truth about this person. You already know that this person is deceptive here with the Seven of Swords and the Devil here. When you ask this person for something, they move slow. Like, some of y'all are just wanting to cut your losses. But you you hold on to this. You hold on to this situation because the love is there. King of Cups. You love this person. And you've been with this person for a long time. For some of you, y'all are married with the Ten of, Pent Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay? You want this passion here. You want to spark this flame here. But some of y'all are just feeling like super duper defeated when it comes to this situation. You've been spying on this person. Maybe you're looking through this person's phone. Um, and it's just like this person is super duper uh, defensive. Okay. You want to ignite this fire. You want to get this flame lit again. You want this person to offer you something. Like you want this person to put put something, bring something to the offer, something to this connection. Because you tried and it seems like it failed with the five of pentacles. You're having regrets about this situation. You're regretting the decision. When you did put effort in, you regretted it. And that's what I'm getting here. You know, it's like you did everything with the ace of pentacles and the two of cups. You did everything to despise this this situation up. Some of y'all done with Leo. You overgave, as a matter of fact, to make this person happy. And it just seemed like mm, the tower. It just fell apart. This person is an asshole because they're stirring up stuff so they can leave. They're starting arguments on purpose so they can leave. Something about the Six of Swords. Justice. Like I said, I feel like this is being done purposely. Like I said, we got the devil here. Somebody here is thinking negative thoughts too. Like somebody way of thinking is is very negative uh, and deceptive. Like some, I'm getting like somebody is super duper vindictive. The queen of swords, the devil, and the seven of swords. That is a cold hearted. <laughs> that's somebody to not be played with. Okay, you could be feeling like that. You could be feeling like you want justice. Like you want justice. You want justice in this situation. You want balance. Yep. This person thinks, like, with the Six of Wands and the Eight of Swords, this is like thinking that they're winning. Thinking that they're winning. But the choices that they're making, they're not making no good choices. And like I said, the Ten of Swords, that's going to come to an end. But you're holding on to the situation because there is love. You love this person. Like I said, some of y'all are married to this person. Or y'all live together. Y'all been together for a while. You want this person to start opening up. Because now at this point, you have, you're feeling like you got a spy. You're feeling like you got a spy. And the challenge is the will of fortune. You want things to go more in your favor. You want to see some changes. Okay? Some serious changes. Yeah, you want this person to change the way they talk to you and change their communication. 
um definitely virgo energy here but there needs to be a conversation that needs to be had it looks like it's in regards to possibly on how to move forward and somebody here needs to also be open and speak their truth um i do see like there is some type of ending the world and the death card definitely some type of ending and transformation um but somebody's definitely i see you not being happy in this relationship Four of Cups and a Ten of Cups. It's, it's just too much of a burden. It's, it's over. It has overextended itself. Okay. You may be looking to try to find some tips on how to um, fix this. But this situation, it has ran, it's ran a, a, a course. Okay. It's ran a course. It's ran out. It's played out. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right? So, y'all know I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. That's what I got. That's what I'm going to speak on. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal, uh, the information is in the drop box below. I am currently running specials for newbies. So, if, if you haven't gotten a reading from me before, now's a good time to get a reading. Okay? Um, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, all right? Um, and I'm going to chat with y'all later, all right? Until next time, ciao for now.